Welcome to Seagull's This and That. My name is Seagull. For those new here please subscribe to our channel to join our family of sports lovers and crime enthusiasts. Also, to all family members, please hit the join button to contribute to the growth of our channel. A small donation will be appreciated. Please note that your donation comes with some perks. Now, today, we bring you the latest news and updates from two of South Africa's biggest football clubs. Strap yourselves in for the latest developments. Kevin Johnson, the interim head coach of Kaiser Chiefs, has finally addressed the situation surrounding Itumaling Kuni's suspension. Initially, Johnson claimed Kuni's absence was due to injury, but he has now shed light on the real reason. All of us are not perfect, that's the one thing we have to know, Johnson said. Whatever happens to some of our players, or whatever happens to some of the players outside, we're all not perfect, things like that happen. Johnson expressed his gratitude towards the club for their support in this difficult situation. He emphasized that Kaiser Chiefs is an organization that will help its players, stating that the club is run by men that should be working with presidents. Johnson believes that there is enough quality within the Kaiser Chiefs team, but individual players have not been given enough opportunities. He expressed the need for better assessment and analysis by himself and his coaching staff to bring out the positive potential in the players. If you did come to Kaiser Chiefs as an average player, then we will make you a better player, Johnson said. I think we need to get in their skin right now and they are good players. Meanwhile, at Orlando Pirates, the Buccaneer supporters are growing frustrated with Monopule Sailing's struggle to replicate last season's form. The speedy winger has been unable to secure a regular spot in Jose Rivero's starting lineup. Speaking about Sailing's dip in form, Orlando Pirates legend Bruce Ramacodi highlighted the challenges faced by players when new competitors arrive. The new players always come in and compete to prove a point, Ramakadi explained. Now, there are players competing with him in that position and doing better than him which obviously affects his form on the field of play. Ramakadi also mentioned the need for understanding and chemistry between teammates, which may also be impacting Sailing's performance. However, he reassured fans that Salang is still a talented player who just needs an opportunity to rediscover his form. Jose Rivero, the Orlando Pirates head coach, acknowledged the team's struggles but focused on finding solutions. We have to give the supporters hope by producing better performance. It is simple, Rivero asserted. I'm busy trying to help my players to win games and score more goals, but I'm not concerned. And that's all for today's update. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting football news and updates. Cheerio!